blah, 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 blah. And I like lose the whole kind of. But then what it was, it was getting more succinct. I could feel it. You're right. I was like, hey, you know, we're getting this. Like, I'm feeling not like, I'm like, should I stare like this or stare at you? Like, the a camera's little, always better. I'm feeling a little bit more like natural. I'm going to fight the urge just to be like, it's on me. It's on me. It's attacking me. <laughs> I'm Corinne Phillips, and this is Fresh Pea Cooks. <laughs> wow, <laughs> she's kitchen. <laughs> So I have a feeling growing up in L.A., living out of a van wasn't really part of your plan. <laughs> <laughs> no. How did it come about? Well, um, when Tree and I met, he was already living in a van. Mm -hmm. And he was doing the, he was traveling around the U.S. rock climbing. Mm -hmm. And then in 2008, when the recession hit, I lost my fancy corporate sales job. Mm -hmm. And... Um, he asked me if I wanted to take a road trip with him. And I said, yes, but it wasn't just your average road trip. It was a trip all the way down the Pan American Highway from <laughs> California to the tip of Argentina. That sounds better to take a road trip than, hey, baby, you want to live in my van with me? <laughs> it totally does. <laughs> totally, yeah, way more adventurous and romantic. Very smart. <laughs> but, yeah. So, and then it, so it was supposed to just be a trip. We were going to do one year down the Pan American Highway, sort of a last hurrah, and then we were going to come back. I was going to get another corporate sales job. We were going to have a baby and settle down and just do what you're supposed to do when you're pursuing you know, the American dream, a big house, nice cars, a couple kids, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But um, as we, how, two or three months into the trip, we realized that we were happy, like really happy, happier than we'd ever been. There was something about this living in the moment and at the same time being, you know, super stimulated where we always had to be like on point because it was what we weren't just like a zombie going through the routine of life, you know, feeling with everything being so convenient and so safe. Instead, we had to be very alert and had to be our best self, had to show up every day to make this thing happen, you know, and, right. and because of that, and we were doing it together. Right. So there was this amazing sense of intimacy and adventure combined that mm -hmm. made us feel more alive and connected than we'd ever been. So we, we were very reluctant to give it up. We uh, immediately started thinking, how can we prolong this trip? <laughs> <laughs> and then by the time we got to Venezuela, we realized, you know what, this isn't a trip anymore. This is, well, actually, I think it was before then. It was in Nicaragua we decided that it was going to be a lifestyle, but it was in Venezuela that we decided we weren't even going to come back to have a baby. We are like, let's just start, you know, you know, how you make a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and so, then live on the road. Yeah. And you learned Spanish. And I learned on the Spanish, road. yeah. And I learned a lot of, um, I learned how to use a lot of different um, ingredients and spices and... Mm -hmm. I think that's really important, not just for people traveling, but for all of us at home cooking on a regular basis, buy what's in season, yeah. buy what hasn't traveled across the globe, what's fresh, what's vibrant, and what is most nutritious. Yeah, and it keeps, I, I, for me at least, I feel like it keeps me, it keeps the, create, the creative process in cooking alive. Yes. Because it's about, hmm, what am I going to go find? And then how am I going to turn that into tonight's meal? Distrito Federal. Mm -hmm. okay. So I was calling it DF. No wonder they didn't understand. <laughs> 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 yeah. So that was my <laughs> problem. No wonder. Spanish like great. You don't know the name of your own city. What's wrong with you it's people? It's the big place in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling all these other countries has made me realize that ultimately there's a there's overwhelmingly a kindness of strangers. Because mm -hmm. I've been so vulnerable in all these countries, I didn't speak the language at first, and I didn't know my way around. I never knew my way around anywhere. Right. You know, I, I was always having to ask people, and people were always so generous with their time and their information, and I, we were welcomed to so many homes, and that's how I ended up learning Spanish, and I'm fluent now, and it was four years in Latin American countries, and that's, I, I couldn't have done it if the people weren't always willing to talk to me, yeah. <laughs> my friend. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. That, and it just also just changed what my perspective of, of happiness is. 
know, of, of how to achieve it. You know, I think um, we grow up thinking that it's somehow related to how much money we make and our position in life and the stuff we own and all of that. I didn't have any of that while we were traveling Latin America and I we still don't really have it. Oops. Wow. It's, um, it's just, it's, we always joked around that it was all it was about the people we met. I don't think that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the key. <laughs> but it's true. it's true. When you are raised in our culture, it's very um, materialistic and it's very possession based. Yeah. And especially in a city, you have your friends, um, but there is a lot of anonymity, so you kind of forget about that universal humanness. Yeah, it's true. That was the thing in Africa that was so surprising for me is when you leave your home country, you not only leave what's familiar, you leave the script of how to eat, how to behave, like yep. everything that you thought you had mastered socially yep. <laughs> goes out of the door. It's no, no longer applicable. Mm -mm. Yeah. And you need to learn and be malleable and flexible for the customs and the way people interact with one another. And more often than not, it's completely open arm, welcome. Yep. I'm glad you're here. So now it's turned into ladies in the kitchen. <laughs> Woo! Right. And I'm bored. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Italian party. <laughs> so what part do you want? Since you're the smallest, you get to choose. What do you mean? Do you want to cook pasta? Do you want to help Stevie? Want to? Do you want to eat? Eat. Do you want to okay. sample <laughs> some fresh tomatoes? Eating's easier. <laughs> okay. You can eat. It looks beautiful. Thank you. So we're making Noni's pasta, which is from Stevie's mother-in-law. I'll okay. just get out of the way. Okay. Okay, Mrs. W. Where'd you go? Oh, I'm, I'm watching from behind me. This, is, this is my preferred place. Okay, okay. Good. My preferred. Mine too, really. Yeah. Can I get you a glass of wine? Cool. Are you sure? I'll drink it for you. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Okay. Okay. Nice to look out there and see your smiling face. <laughs> see? Yep. Yes. Now, before I could speak well, I remember I would sit at the table in a hostel where, like, you no. Know, all these other people with my Spanish English dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could talk to them. I want you to have it. Wait, let me look up that word. No. This is amazing. <laughs> Rico. It's just funny with um, you know, with what you learn. Yes. And, and that's what we can put in here. And what you don't learn. Yeah. So one thing I got to say I really love about Fresh Pea is that you do break down the, 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 the root causes of things. It's not just, oh, this is why you do things. Like, I learned to cook from my mom, who learned, learned from her mom, right. and it was all rooted in, like, kind of old world, right. passed down from, and that's great. I mean, yeah. I love all these recipes that I've learned throughout my life, and, and I also learned to be, feel really comfortable just throwing things in and, and experimenting. We never, we're not a family that follows recipes, you know? Yes. But on the flip side, the bad thing is, is that you know you can continue to do things like salt beans and you're cooking them and then wonder why they don't cook, or <laughs> yeah. throw oil into your pasta and not realize that you're, yeah. you're keeping it from adhering to the sauce. You know, so I really appreciate learning these basics, even though I consider myself a, a good enough cook. You know yes. what I mean? Yeah, because it's it's helpful. Yeah, it is helpful, and I learn by knowing why, like yeah. not not necessarily how but why because then I can I can figure out the how on my own but if I understand the fundamentals like why you do things a certain way right. then you can create endlessly yeah that makes perfect sense and you can build on that on your own mm -hmm. yeah.